Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, pause the video, give it a shot, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so they, they say when factored completely, x to the third power minus 13x squared minus 30x is, which is the following. So there's really two ways I would go about doing this. Uh, the first way, and then I don't really advise this because it feels like it was too con it would be too con time consuming, would be to actually distribute each of these. So like in the first one, you have x and x plus 3 and x minus 10. What you could do with these three terms is multiply them to find out if it equals x to the third power minus 13x squared minus 30x. And the way I would go about doing that is <clears throat> either multiplying x by x plus 3 to get x squared plus 3x, and then taking that and multiplying that by x minus 10. Or you can multiply x plus 3 times x minus 10, take that result, and then multiply it by x. Try it out. Um, and you could, you could do that. Eventually, you'll reach the answer. But a faster way would be to factor it directly. So I'm going to rewrite this out. We have x to the third minus 13x squared minus 30x. Well, one of the first things I notice is that each of these terms has a factor in common, right? Each of these terms has one factor in common. That factor is x, right? 30 times x. Here we have 13 times x times x, or x squared, and then x times x times x. Each of them have an x in it. So I can factor that x out. And what will remain? Well, x times x squared, that's x to the third. Then minus 13x. If we take 13x, multiply it by x, we get 13x squared. And then fi finally, minus 30. So now this is a lot more manageable. And what I'm going to be factoring is the trinomial inside these parentheses. Trinomial means a three-term polynomial. So I notice that we've got x squared there, so I'm going to put an x and an x. And now I've got to find two other constants that do two things. They're going to multiply to negative 30 and add to negative 13. So take a moment, find the two numbers that multiply to negative 30 but add to negative 13. Well, I know to get two numbers that multiply a negative 30, one of them has to be positive, and the other has to be negative, because a negative times a positive would give you negative 30. Now, to get a sum of negative 13, I know that when I add a negative and a positive, the only way to get a negative result, a negative sum, is if the negative number has a greater absolute value. So when I look for factors of 30, I come across 15 and 2. And being negative 15 times positive 2, that's negative 30. And negative 15 plus 2 is negative 13. So I might have said factors of 30, actually factors of negative 30 that add to negative 13 are negative 15 and 2. And this is the factored form. You see they have it uh, written a little bit differently here in choice 3. They essentially swapped these two binomials, or those are polynomials with two two terms in them. And uh, we know the commutative property tells us that, they, that the order we multiply these three terms in um, will not affect the final product. So these two things are equivalent. Thank you.